here with Kate and Lanier representing Western Australia and Australia at the World Championships in the 65 class. Hi, Kaden. What is your favourite track? Okay, what's been your biggest achievement so far racing the motocross? Okay, who's your favourite rider? Yep. Who would you look at as your biggest mentor? What's your favourite thing about racing motocross? Is it the fast sandy tracks? Is it hard pack? Whoops, ski jumps? Yeah. What other sports do you enjoy? I enjoy the yeah. Alright, you're going to give me your best two-stroke impersonation. What? Okay. Any advice for uh, young up and coming riders that may look up to you? Just be slow to try this. Okay, what's your biggest goal or out that you'd like to get out of motocross? Is there anyone you want to thank? Awesome. Thanks, mate. Thank you. All the best. Here with Regan Duffy, representing Western Australia and Australia in the World Championship in the 125 class. Regan, what would be your favourite track? Uh, I'd have to say Manjimup down south. It's definitely my favourite. I think it's world class. What's been your best achievement so far in your career? Um, probably, I'd say, winning my first national title because that really kicked it off for me. Um, I got my ride with KTM after that, and then from then I've won two more national titles. Um, who's your favourite rider? Hurlings, 100%. Yep. yep. What do you like about him? Just his style, just real creative, like, just uses all the bumps as jumps, pops over, just incredible. Do you look at your style of riding to kind of be similar to what he does? Yeah, I definitely try, like, just... He really plays with the track, doesn't bulldog through stuff, just jumps around and I, yeah, I definitely try to copy him. Yeah, awesome. Um, what's, your, what's your goals coming into the World Championships coming up? Uh, for sure, I, I'd love to take the win, but um, podium's definitely on my mind, but there's, yeah, there's definitely no doubt in my mind that I can win it. So. What I'm going for. Um, for the kids out there that look up to you, what what advice could you give them that are coming up through the ranks? Just have fun with it. Like all I do is, like of course I do my motos, but I, I love to go out and just do some skill work, wheelies, stoppies, um, go trail riding a little bit. So that definitely breaks it up. Just really got to have fun with it. Anyone that you'd like to thank? Uh, my dad, he does everything for me. There's no way I'd be where I am now. Like Going in as being a top competitor of the world titles, to, if I didn't have him, I don't even know if I'd be doing this. So yeah, massive shout out to my dad. Alright, Regan, all the best for the world championships coming up. Thank you for that. Guys with uh, Seth Shackleton, representing Western Australia and Australia in the Worlds in the 65 class. Your questions today, Seth. What's your favourite track? Uh, what's been your best achievement so far in motocross? I'm winning two of the titles. Who's your favourite rider? What rider do you look at locally or internationally as your biggest mentor or your inspiration? Some of the local boys. Um, what got you into racing motocross? Um, Dad had a bike sitting at home and I started riding it. Yeah. And it all just took off from there. Do you enjoy any other sports? Um, MotoGP. So just motorsport. Any advice that you can give to some of the junior riders that are coming up through the ranks? 
would have been an eight healthy, train hard, keep mum and dad happy. Train hard. Train hard. And is there anyone you'd like to thank that's been helping you along the road of racing? Um, members of the KDM, Toy Suspension, uh, James Hood, MXE, Road Race. biggest goal that you want to get out of motocross? Um, probably come like top five in world championships and win an um, Australian title. Awesome. Who would you like to thank? Um, all my sponsors, Dad, Mum and yeah, Marshall's Power 67, Paul the Great Gear and all like, my other guys that have been and yeah. Awesome. Everyone, they can make it possible for me. All right, mate. All the best in the uh, World Championships. Thank you. All right, here with Matt Fabry from Western Australia, supporting Australia in the 125 World Championship class. All right, Matt. Just a few questions, mate. Um, what is your favourite track? Um, I got a few of them uh, over in WA. Uh, Manjimup would definitely have to be up there with one of my favourites. Um, over East, there's a sick track that I just recently rode at MX Nationals, which was the MX Ranch. Um, it definitely was up up top of the list. And um, and then Ride Park Vic, that was um, that's a ride park, um, not a race track, but yeah, it's definitely um, them three tracks are uh, top of my list for favourite ride riding. Definitely have to be uh, when I won the 125 Australian Junior National Championships, uh, which was in 2015 at Bunbury. Um, yeah, that was definitely it, it. Definitely boosted my confidence with what I could do uh, and made me believe myself a little bit more. Um, definitely struggled a lot after that with injuries, um, breaking my leg a year later, and, and sort of just trying to come back from it still. Um, but I can't get used to that excuse. Part of the sport and everyone goes through it. Yep. That's good. Um, who's your favourite rider right when it comes to racing? Um, definitely Jeffrey Hurlings. Um, I've been looking at lately and, and watching his riding style. Definitely is one of my biggest, um, biggest favourite riders. Uh, he's, he's just got so much talent. Um, he knows how to ride a bike and he's so, he's so there um, with everything and his, his head is just so strong. Um, just. I follow a lot of them guys and Ken Rockton as well. Um, he's he's one of my biggest um, biggest mentors as well. He after his injuries that he's just had and to come back and 
get on the podium and the AMA is um, is yeah, pretty amazing. So them two guys definitely have to be up there in the list um, with my favourite riders. Yeah, cool. Um, what originally started your motocross career? Um, my dad used to race back in the day. Um, he, he got me started into motocross. He, he bought me a um, Highway 50. Uh, I started off off on that, um, getting dinkied around as well with my brother Jaden. Um, and then just sort of just grew from there. Just that's all I've really done in my life is motocross, and that's all I sort of want to do. Um, I want to make something, make something out of it. Um, hopefully, um, make it become a job. Yeah. Is there any other sports that you enjoy or follow? Uh, definitely hobbies. Uh, I do a lot of mountain biking. Um, I love that. To have, yeah, do all my spare time. It's it's fun, um, and it also plays a big part with training. Um, it works good with training and it's also having fun at the same time and also just like skiing and wakeboarding um, all that sort of stuff just I'm pretty pretty on with like um, with all the, the sporty stuff so yeah Extreme sports yeah so I, I like all, doing all that sort of stuff so it's cool yep. all right so any advice that you could provide for up and coming riders and probably you know, junior riders that are looking up to you um, Oh, there'd be a million things I'd be able to say. Um, just probably the biggest thing is just believe in yourself and just don't give up. Uh, I think that's that's the biggest thing I've been um, telling myself lately. Um, there's there's been there's been many times where I've just it's gotten it's gotten pretty hard. But um, just to look at how far I've come and to, to think like why give up now would just be a big waste of time. Yeah. Um, that all my parents have put into me, all the yeah, all the money and effort. So I just think. Um, yeah, just keep just keep going at it and, and believe in what you can do and, and just yeah, just don't stop. Yeah, awesome. So um, obviously to conclude this, who would you like to thank and who's uh, you know, giving you the opportunities? Oh, I definitely have to um, yeah, throw out a huge shout out to my team manager Peter Strickland and the, uh, the whole BFM manager Yamaha team. Um, without them, I wouldn't yeah. I'd, I don't know where I'd be. They um they put a lot of time and effort and money into getting me where I am, um, and just yeah. Also sponsors, uh, Bridgestone just won, uh, Scott, Axo, um, just everyone that helps just just helps out a lot. All right, so all the best for your uh, one two five world championship, and hopefully we can uh, get some good results. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it.